Well, a cross-class showdown in Scarborough leading the way tonight on Hoops 8 as Falmouth looking for a road win against the Red Storm, the defending South AA champion. Falmouth leading in the fourth. Red Storm start to rally. They kick it inside. Nick Fiorillo for two. Then Brian Austin in midcourt. The steal. He pulls up. 47-46. Falmouth's lead cut to one. Michael Simons back on the court. Nice to see him out there. Finds Nick Hester inside. Hester, though, even better on the defensive end tonight in this one. William Graver, the next possession, stretches the lead to five. And then Nico Petrie, the beautiful no-look feed to Brady Douglas for the lay-in. Falmouth goes on the road with a 60-56 to win. Good matchup in York tonight. The Wildcats hosting Grand Gloucester in an A-B game. Will McDonald, the tough fadeaway for York. The Wildcats up 15 in the third. But here comes Gray, led by Jonathan Martin. He comes fire the three cuts the lead to five midway through the fourth Martin another three he had 33 Patriots go up by one York answers at the other end Brady Cummings for three he had 12 Wildcats by two then on the break Chris Cummings to McDonald for two of his 17 64 58 York holds off gray Kenny Bunk at Westbrook tonight and this was all Rams in this one trip Bush from the wing the take and the friendly roll Rams up 46 to 16 in the third then inside the sophomore Adam Lux he had 15 79 42 Kenny Bunk comes out with a win Freeport visiting Yarmouth tonight Clippers get the first hoop of the game no Eckersley Ray working the glass inside for Yarmouth Freeport answers though. Shea Wagner, he's trapped, but he pivots out of it to find Toby Holt for the nice reverse. Then in transition, Holt finishes 45-41. Freeport wins a close one. Freeport's first win against Yarmouth since 2008. Playoff rematch. Last time Wyndham and Portland met, the Eagles sprung an upset in the playoffs. Late in the second, Pedro Fonseca inside the nice putback and one for the Bulldogs. For Wyndham, you can't leave Andrew Wing alone. Wing knocks down the three, but Portland had enough tonight to hold off the Eagles 59-46. Jeremiah Alado with 21 to lead the way for the Dogs. Sanford at Deering. This is a good one. Early going. Sanford leading by four. Ben Onick reverses. He had 21 and 13. He's a double-double machine. Then Empore Sohoza goes from triple team to nobody teaming him. And it's a basket and one. Sanford made a run in this one. CJ Latang to Carson Bickford and back to Latang. But Mike Randall working the glass inside. Deering had just enough to hold off Sanford, 62-57. South Portland and Shavers both looking for their first wins. Red Riots, Junior Ryan Bowles working from the top of the key. Crossing Cats goes in for the lay-in. Then Scott Lewis, he's got a new club in the bag. It's the deep three. Shavers, they would pull within 12. Matt Duchesne, the nice move, gets back door, but South Portland rolls in this one, 63-45. Gorham playing its... Opener against Noble tonight. Nick Strout driving for the Rams, and he's going to get the nice finish. The floater goes. Later on, Rams work it around. Bodie Meter from downtown drains the three. He had 11 for Gorm. Then Zach Beaumont working inside. The putback for two. 76-34, Gorm all over Noble. Class C boys, Trape Academy hosting Old Orchard tonight. And uh, we'll see, uh, maybe we don't have one. Oh, we do have that. Let's go back. Trape, and this is one was uh, worth checking out because of one guy's effort. We'll show you in a second. Frankie Driscoll drives, gets the basket to go. Rangers by three. The other end, Isaac Lachance picks up the loose ball for the Seagulls, but the Seagulls had no answer for Will Stewart. Finishes with 41, 73, 65. Trape, they are two and oh. All right, we were looking ahead to the girls' action. Here we are back for it. One of the state's top players, a chance to go over a career milestone tonight as we head to South Berwick. Marshwood playing its home opener against Bitterford. Hawks well balanced, 13 different players scored. Grace Vero with a put back inside. Tigers in transition. Grace Martin, the hoop and the foul. She went over 1,000 in her career tonight. 17 points for the Harvard-bound senior. Then Marshwood hits the glass again. Lauren Cusson with the put back. 76-39 Marshwood. Natalie Herbold had 17. Chevrolet's second straight hope game to open their season, hosting South Portland. Red Riot's a comfortable lead early. Stags running. Haley Jordan to Meg Kelly for the basket. The other way, Ashley Aceto. That is in her range. She knocks it down. South Portland 58-42. They're 2-0. The best seat in the house at Falmouth belonging to this little lady. Scarborough in town to face the Yachtsman. Teamwork on display here for the Red Storm. Kayla Conley kicks it out to Isabella Dickinson for three. And then Dickinson finds Conley in the break. It was all Scarborough, 49 to 25. First game in the new Sanford gym. The Spartans hosting Deering tonight. First basket, the honors go to Sanford's Jill Lizzo. She had 15. 
Other way, Delaney Haynes drives the hoop and the foul. What can't she do? She had 24. Spartans, though, break the press. Hope Tarbox, the jumper for two. Sanford holds on 60 to 57. Paige Cody at 29. Wyndham hosting Portland tonight. Late in the third, Eagles force the turnover and they start the break. Sarah Talon ahead to Megan Hofsis. Wyndham goes up 16. Bulldogs would start a comeback. Kiera Eubanks, the foul line J, but the Eagles would hang on 55 46. Win them the win. Noble hosting Thornton Academy. Pick up the action late in the first half. Amanda Bogardis drains the corner J. Trojans take a two point lead. Other way, Reagan Kelly off the inbounds play. She had a game high 17 for the Knights. Trojans answer though. Mackenzie Melendez finds Penelope Giorgi for three. And Thornton goes on the road for the 39 38 win. All right, Wells at Greeley tonight. Warriors came to play. They're down 27 19 to the defending. A champs Mallory Armando the nice finish Warriors down six at the break. She had 11. An immediate answer Camille Clement had over 53s last year. Hits one there. It's back to a nine point game. Then Julia Martel the nice save to Brooke Obar knocks down the jumper. The lead back into double digits. Wells though chips away again. Franny Ramsdale the basket and one. She had 19. Wells down nine, but Anna DeWolf helped the Rangers pull away. DeWolf had 32 and Greeley takes it 58 to 45 over the Warriors this evening in Cumberland. Yarmouth coming off a win at York, hosting Freeport for the Falcons. Caroline Smith doing Caroline Smith things on the break. She had 18. Nice finish. Other way, Margaret McNeil from long range. Yarmouth trailed by six at the break, but found Freeport had enough down the stretch. Rachel Wall inside the basket. 39-30. Freeport moves to 2-0. Oh. That right there, Unite on the hard court. Guys.